Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunker down low and reach high to the sky. I got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this edition of What Horse. We're getting ready to go to Tunica. Yes. <laughs> That's going to be a good show. Hey, it's going to be a real good show. Well, Jerry, I know you got to do your job, but this is for a buddy of yours. Uh -huh. What does Kenny Smith call you? <laughs> the love doctor. Love doctor? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, well, you got the love potion or what? He, he it's by the horse that we showed one time. <laughs> <laughs> he told me, he said, ask Jerry Williams what I call him. And I said, I hope it's something good because he wouldn't he would tell me what it was. Love doctor. Yeah. How, how, how'd that come up? I was about a horse we showed, and the horse was named Love Doctor. Oh, the horse and was Love Doctor. The horse was named Love Doctor, and when the horse got there, he was showing himself out there in the ring. He was a stud horse. Oh. And then, <laughs> so, he did, did, yes. Love Doctor, we mm -hmm. got to stick with that. Well, Love Doctor, you do, you do, <laughs> you do your thing, and then I'll uh, <laughs> we'll do the show. We'll be right back after these messages. Love Doctor. <laughs> Welcome to where the five to nine more than makes up for the nine to five. To where you check your troubles, along with your coat. And days are made, even at 10 at night. Welcome to the best time you've ever had, since the last time you were here. To old friends, new experiences, and forgotten cares. Welcome to where life moves at the speed of you. Welcome to Sam's Town Tunica Hotel and Gambling Hall by Boyd. Welcome to where you want to be. The Mona Dean family is proud to announce that the multi-time world champion and world grand champion minor ordeal is now available for breeding at Sugar Creek Breeding Facility for the 2023 spring breeding season. Minor Ordeal has proven year after year that he is one of the elite champions of all time winning five World Grand Championships, one World Grand Championship, and the Reserve World Grand Championship as well. Minor Ordeal, a major win here in the two-year-old division, our World Grand Champion. Make the call to breed to a true champion, Minor Ordeal. 931-680-0897. Where does your donation to the Humane Society of the United States really go? Their CEO makes more than $450,000. Their top execs make more than $200,000 each. The Humane Society of the United States isn't even affiliated with any local humane societies and only gives about 1% of the money it raises to local pet shelters. So... If you want to help homeless pets, give to local shelters. Learn more at HumaneWatch.org. More of What a Horse coming up. All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, tomorrow night, Thursday night, Tunica starts. That's something in Tunica, Mississippi, be Paul Battle Arena. Call D. Cantrell, 706-366-1011, or Sarah Smith, 931-580-5085. Showtime starts at 6 p.m. Judges are Derek Bonner, Ross Campbell, and Jamie Hankins. And this is the United Fall Finale, which 
and it's time we came together because we're uh, we've replied to the rule and I'm just going to come out and say this and, and I mean it with all my heart everybody ought to be calling Frank Eichler and thanking him for everything he's done because he has busted it on getting the reply back, the comment ready, and doing all the research. He he has. Uh, yes. I mean that that's just a that's a hard job. Oh, that, it is that a hard ain't job. easy. I mean, it's a lot of uh, a lot of time spent. Yes. And there is uh, <laughs> this is going to be good because uh, we we can go ahead and show this. Uh, we ain't going to have to worry about Clint C this year. But uh, I wanted to remind everybody what happened to him last year. Uh, and this was because of you. He, I knew what he was trying to do. Yes. <laughs> he's trying to start one with you to where he could sue me again. But uh, it didn't work. Now, I'm, I hate that he's passed away, though. I, I hate that for anybody. But, yeah. but I am glad he ain't there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, they, uh, yeah. they let him know that he was fixing to go to jail or yeah. he's getting out of there. You were right. But this year, everybody won't have to worry about him. And the warm up in the morning, the warm up ring will be doing good, and, and Jamie Lawrence won't have to argue with anybody. That's right. Because <laughs> he was arguing with Jamie, too. Now, Seems like every time he turned around, me. he was trying to on, pick go. on somebody. But there was, a, there was a lady that talked to him, buddy, and I mean, she was, she was just flat out just told him the way it was. That's right. And uh, I don't think he liked it, but that's there, right there. Yes. I want you to walk. I have a heart condition. Well, you ain't well, you understand me? Well, well, you calm down. You're going to get yourself upset. Calm down. Okay, why you you up in here? You came You know what the pity of this is? And, and I'll say okay. it. The lady that called me, talked me about it, wanted me to suggest that I claim the body. They, they couldn't find anybody to begin with that would have anything to do with it. Man. And that's that's a bad sight that that you spend that many years on earth and you pass away. Yeah, you're right. Nobody wants to be around you, nobody wants to know about you, nobody wants to say anything. He built a reputation of deceit. Yeah. And uh you know down there in Tunica they love the this horse. I know they do. I they I mean, they, they like they like this this walking horse down there. Well, those guys they they when I talked to them, I told them what he was doing, and they said, "Well, who's got this place rented?" I said, "The walking horse industry." They said, "Well, this is private then." You know, that was the only place that he ever went to that the that the sheriff department put him out of. I know. And buddy, they, all they, the they, other places he went to, they would never do nothing. They would never just let him stay there and tell him, leave him alone. But now they made him leave that place. They did escort him off the celebration grounds. Now, they did do that because I, I told him he was in there yeah. and he was trying to get away. We blocked him and they got him and walked him out arm in arm to where he could go out. And he couldn't come into Cal Sonic, yeah. so he, which is now Cooper Steel Arena. So he would send other people in there. He sent a woman in one time, sent a guy in. So we don't have to worry about that. Yeah. I don't know if there will be any protesters down there or not. I doubt it. There was very few this year at the celebration. And we just haven't had to contend with stuff like that. Yeah. And, and which is good because we got other battles. And I do want to tell everybody, I've been uh, talking to different people and received a check the other day. I'm not going to name the people right now. But uh, came in the mail, made out to legal action, and that will be given to an attorney. You can bet on it, because that's, that's something very important. And I believe we got some video ready. Right there it is. Make a check out to yes for legal actions and send it to a horse. If we get it and get it in the bank and get it collected, then I'm going to pass it on to an attorney who will 
put it into the legal action, and yes. that's what we need. We don't need no more politicians. Eh? No. We keep going in that circle. Every <clears throat> time they need money, they're here to help. Yeah. Once they get the money, we don't see them. Uh -huh. And we got a, a lobbyist in Washington. Uh, I really, I mean, to me, you need somebody that really knows this horse. Yeah. Or knows what's happening. That's why I like what Frank Eichler did. Yeah. I mean, he, he laid out everything that the government had done that they shouldn't do. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll see what they do in Tunica. Yeah. Because if they show up down there, it'll probably be the same thing. But I would love to be a fly on the wall and hear what they talk about when they come and get the entry forms. I'd like to know when they have their little meeting why they need them entry forms. But I'll bet anybody that they go down that entry form and they say we need to target him. They won't use the word target, but they'll say this is him, 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 him. We're going to do this, we're going to do that. I just believe that if they were put on the stand, I just don't think every one of them would be so deceitful and corrupt that they would lie under oath. I find that hard to believe yeah. that, that someone could sit there straight faced and uh, swear to be a professional but lie under oath. Yeah. I know they have in the past, but I don't know. What do you think? I don't think they will. I think <laughs> when they push down to it, I believe they'll have to tell the truth. I do say, yeah. and I, I think once they tell the truth, that there's going to be some people higher up that telling them to do it. Yeah. And that that I'm looking forward to seeing. I really am. All right. We got some video of the early years of the celebration. These are past champions. They're strolling gym, 1939. <coughs> That was when they were still having to show up behind the old high school. Yes. Our horse has gotten so much better than that since then. There was Haynes Peacock, two-time world champion. And you know, you, you and I talked about this, which I, I feel this way myself. I think once you win the world championship, world grand championship, I think y'all go on the, on the shelf up here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It'd just be breeding. Melody made. Who was the first stallion to win the world grand championship? I don't know. Come on, come on. I think that horse, that was a gilded talk of the town. He was. Yeah. Who was the first? I believe that one was. It was either Go Boy Shadow or Midnight Sun. Here's Major B. Wilson. That was in 61. Look at them running yeah. walks here. Oh, but I want you to look behind them. Look at them people in the stands back then. Oh, it was packed now. That is an old, old video, buddy. Yeah. But I believe it Midnight Sun was the first stag. Stag, okay. Ebony's yeah, masterpiece. I'd love to see the day that we go back to celebration and them stands are packed like yeah. they were back then. Shaker Shocker in 66. Even his senator. You wasn't even around then, were you? No, I wasn't around then. I was. I seen a bunch of these. See, that's right there, buddy. Mm -hmm. The 
Good one. I just like to watch these videos and see the difference of the horses from one point to the other. How do you get uh, that? Hey, our horses <laughs> are. Yeah. Wallace Brandon showed that into reserve the year before. Uh -huh. Sensational shadow. What other horse was in this one right here that got a first place vote? Yeah, I don't know. You, you was a, a young man at that point. I was. Bumming around. <laughs> I, if I'm not mistaken, I believe Alan Calloway yeah. is the one that tied him first. Okay. I believe. Alan will correct me if I'm wrong. Who was the last horse to wear a set of boots in the ring? I don't know. You, you just saw him, another masterpiece. It <laughs> sure was. That was the last time the boots were worn in celebration. Another masterpiece one of them. I told Ronnie Spears, he gave me a set of those, which now they're at the museum yeah, down okay. at Moore Trace. But I told him, I said, Ronnie, I want to thank you for them boots. He said, no problem. He said, there's a big set of boots because that's a big horse. I said, yeah. I said, I was offered $3,500 for them. He said, I want them back. back. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you ain't getting them back. <laughs> but I wasn't offered 3500 yeah. for them either. I just told him that. Let me see what else we got here. We're going to look at some victory passes from the Fall Classic, Celebration Fall Classic. I'm the boss lady. You know, I, I really like that horse. Yes, I nice really did. That's a nice good man. mare. Uh -huh. Real good mare. Bob said it's a good seat too, doesn't yeah. it? I've had a lot of people ask me why they did the ring that way. Because we never did it that way until we had the uh, tunica show. Uh -huh. And then the year we didn't have the tunica show, they did it. Yeah. Honored in Texas, amateur five-year-old stallion. Good horse right there. I bet old Bob would be in I would say so. <clears throat> Most of our diehards will be in Yeah. Because that's the last show. I talked to a trainer the other day, and he said so many of his appointed, he was going to have to tell him he didn't have enough room for all of them. Uh -huh. And that, that's a good thing when you got a trainer that's got a bunch of them that wants to show. There's your buddy. Yeah, okay. You, you want to talk about him <laughs> while he's on there? <laughs> so he is a good guy now. I like Kenny a lot. <laughs> the love, the, the panic master in Kenny Smith, the Smith and R. Well, I talked to Kenny the wild name. <laughs> I tell you what, I like the way Kenny judges. Now, oh yeah, Kenny judge. does, does it. He's a real good judge to me. <laughs> Yeah, love, Dr. Barthes. <laughs> <laughs> he just send you out the ring. He said, like, get out of here. There's the Char Queen. I tell you what, Sam did great on yeah. that horse. Mm -hmm. Now, he made a great show. Look at the size of that class. Oh, yeah, it was a big class. But I like that walk. I mean, the head shaking, walking, just getting it done. done a good job on that mare. I thought so. I want to remind everybody to look at these because every one of these victory passes, 25% of the cost is going into the legal fund. Yeah. I am big enough in Maxine Beasley for Beth Beasley. That's another little nice hey. little horse there. Now, I tell you, he's always going to be in the hunt every time he shows. He sure is because he's good. Yep. He's consistent. He doesn't make a bobble. He just gets out there and does his job. Head shaking, driving off his back end. And that young lady does a good job, right? She does a good job. Mayor Bill. 
Dan Waddell. <clears throat> Dan have done real good these last couple of years here in this horse show right now. He's have done a super job with his horses. Uh, Dan is a showman. Yes. He is a supporter. He will go to the shows, buddy. He will pack up and go to the shows, show his horses. He doesn't leave them yes. in the stall. He takes them out and shows them. And I admire that. And yeah. I know, like George and Kim Lewis, I know they appreciate it. Yeah. Those are two good people too. They got a they got a two year old this year that I thought was real good. That red alert, mm -hmm. nice horse. Right there's the Kingpin, Bob Adcock, your amateur 15 to another reserve winner. That class right there was packed full yeah. of good ones. I really like the eighth place horse to tell you the truth. Yeah. And I'm Charlie Black, <coughs> and Dahlia Smith Hart. I bet she'd make a good judge. Yeah, she'd make a good judge. Dahlia knows a good horse. She rode a bunch of good ones. I, in her you life better time, believe so she, she has. <coughs> People were talking about her like they're talking about County Green right yeah. now. They don't want to see them in them adult classes. classes yeah. Boyer, Paul has had a good year. Yeah, he has had a good year. And I'm glad to see his wife's up in the valley. Yeah. Tiffany is a real nice lady now. She's real nice and polite every time you see her. Good seat right there. Yeah. Paul rides good horse. Into the wild blue yonder in County Green for Shane Porterfield, your show pleasure youth winner. He just bought that one right there uh -huh. for his granddaughter to show. There's Uptight Jose and Bruce <coughs> McDonald. Right there is fine, bro. Oh, yeah. Bruce is a real nice guy. I'm telling you. Him and Robin, I'm going to tell you, they've been, they were real, they've been real nice to me. I'll tell you what, I always like rock, watching Robin show. Yeah. She, uh, she, <laughs> buddy, she, get, she get on that horse and get, I'm oh, get going see. now. Honor and remember and Dan Waddell for George and Kim Lewis. Walk Horse Championship counter winner. That horse going to be around yeah. for a while. Yeah, I'm surprised that Kim hadn't jumped up on him. Uh-huh. Well, that's a nice horse. Well, that's Kim, a nice horse. Kim's a good rider. Yeah. She's a flat ride horse. right there was went into state classes mm -hmm. when he was four. Four years old. You were right. Doing a good job too. And that would complete the fall finale or the fall classic. Celebration fall classic. And I believe now we're going to let the love doctor. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to love this. <laughs> we're going to let the love doctor Take, take a <laughs> took over. 
Woo. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Same bloodline, same mother, same father, and here he is. Now this is the offspring. Now Hero is standing at stud at Jerry Williams stable. Yes, that, I'm gonna tell you, that's a, that's a real nice horse. That horse had an injury happen to him in the stall when he was young, um, but now I tell you, got, all, got a lot of talent, that Hero horse does. He's a real nice horse. The impact of a meal goes well beyond feeding our bodies. Food can open endless possibilities for people to thrive. Because when people are fed, futures are nourished. Everyone deserves to live a full life. And with your help, together we can end hunger. Join the movement at feedingamerica.org slash act now. What's a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip. And then, boom, adventure and thrills everywhere you look, which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind, or bring the crowd for some stargazing, or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. We've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411 and see if I can save you money on your communication. All righty. Well, love, doctor. I'll tell you what we're going to do. He never should have I never should have found that out. But I'm going to tell you, I never should have found that Thank out. Thank you, Kenny. <laughs> oh, Kenny. Boy, Kenny's a good friend to oh, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We, we can dream up something for Kenny. Yeah. What we what we gonna call him? I don't know. You got to really think about him. You got to really have think to, about. I have it. to give a lot of thought, thought about it. Yeah. He, he, we we got to be careful though. <laughs> he'll he'll spin it back around on you. I I'm, guarantee you. I'm, well, that that's why I think I'm just gonna be cool and say, yeah. Kenny Smith's a good guy. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and I'm gonna leave it at that. We'll let you be the love doctor. <laughs> go go to. Well, we I don't know. We, we do something. I mean, you taking any horses to Tunica? No, I ain't gonna take none. I'm gonna go and watch and support it. And play three card poker. I watch you play three card poker. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna play some three card poker, but I ain't gonna play much. I wanna. This is gonna be my last big show that I go to, and I, I really wanna watch some horses. I wanna get some interviews yeah. while I'm down there, especially on the comments. This, uh, we need to get more information out there. A lot of people have called me and asked me about that. And I believe now, since the comment has been put out there and they see exactly what is going on, a lot of people are, you know, I've had a lot of people say that they, you know, they're looking at us a lot different. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, well, th those people that you had come to your barn, that I mean, the lady said that wasn't what she expected. That's, a lot right. of people like that. The people that bought sci-fi. I told him, I said, he was a show horse. They were shocked that he was a show horse. But I told him, I said. Well, a lot of people get false information out there about these horses. And they think, you know, 
that once they've been on them shoes that they run, they won't never be able to do be a regular horse again. They can't never trail ride them, and that's that's wrong. Well, I mean, a horse is a horse. It's like that horse that Glimmer, that Clancy, see, which we showed yeah. earlier. He he took a picture of that horse's feet, told everybody that that's what was done at the barn, which was a lie. Yeah. Cat died. When I told her about it, Cat died. I said, Jerry, he, he showed the picture, but it wasn't Glimmer. And then to prove his point, he was the one that did it. Yeah. Because when Cat Dye had the horse, his feet were not messed up. Mm -hmm. And she had him for quite, quite a while. And then all of a sudden, we started pointing out what she said. And then here we go. He comes out with it. And then find out the, this woman was telling us about all the things he did to make money off of that horse. Yeah. So it, it's a, I think a lot of people have realized that the walking horse industry is not what a lot of people be trimmed to be. We, do we have bad eggs? Yes, we do. But I think after they, what happened in the thoroughbred industry, a lot of people will have a second thought because one of those guys got 11 years. One of them got five, I think it is. Another one got four. One of them was a veterinarian. And uh, he went to jail. So more or less, they're letting us know that across, across the equine industry, they don't know. Somebody may be in this industry trying to get more stuff. So nobody knows. You're right, you know, but I mean, these horses, <coughs> I don't know. <clears throat> these horses are not going. These horses are taken very good care of. Well, I know mine are. That's and those are the ones. And that I, I mean, worry it's about. like you say, in every industry that you fool with, anything you fool with, you're gonna have bad people or good people that's involved in it. That's From it. football, basketball, sporting horses, industry, or whatever. And that's the person that you got to go after. The person that's doing something bad, not the whole industry. Go after them. Leave everybody yeah. else alone. Let's watch the youth championship at the Celebration Fall Classic, buddy. This was a show. Oh, this was a good class. Listen to this that they call these horses off. Who's who? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Better believe it. 
Oh, that's quite an honor there. Well, that's a good horse right play, there. Yeah. But that thing was packed. Yeah. That was a good class. A tough class. You get more people watching it than you did the state class. Well, there's a bunch of people there. That's what, yeah. But that's the way it is, when, especially when they have these where you're on yeah. the rail like that. I know that's the big, that's the view you see when you look down at the entrance. At the yeah. several requests for this class. That's the reason yeah. we're doing it. Because it was, it was a good class now. Oh, Mark is a good dancer. He just kicked back and let her go. <laughs> he does a good job announcing. Well, I can tell you, old Rocky Top and County Green took the blue. The Dixie label and Chloe McSwain was reserved. A Super Bowl MVP was third. Extra special Jose and Emma Wright. He's a lucky strike. Aubrey Derrickson. Quite an honor, Maxine Beasley. Elway, Lacey Matthews. Time to be glamorous. Carly Cagle. Jose the Champ, Cole McCormick. And I'm redeemed, Briley Wampler. Finish the ribbons. This is one of them classes that you get chill bumps is watching it on the <laughs> video and it's already been going on. Well, I tell you what, there was some good ones in there. Yeah. That was a who's who in the amateur youth division, that's for sure. back at the celebration where you look down there and it was just packed full of youth. Yeah. And I mean it just it's not like it was. That's why I'm a class like this. Hey, I love it. Oh yeah, I do too. I like to watch some young ones ride like that.
I tell you what, it makes them judges have to really focus on a big class like this. You gotta, you gotta watch. Yeah, watch close. You get to watch his class and you get to start talking. You can get to talk well, to it because it's so interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, that's watch the reason it. I told you. So now that I know how I am, I get to watch the horses. Yeah. I don't pay attention to anything else. That's why we left the sound up. <laughs> yeah. one whole show with this juvenile riding. If you had a T.O., three-o, four-year old class and it'd be neat, but yeah. Well, I'm gonna say a lot of these juvenile riders right here can ride a two-year old or three-year old because they ride this. A bunch good. of them can, I yeah. grant you. Mm -hmm. They don't have no fear. <laughs> Watching Allie Joe on her quarter horse. Yeah. Barrel racing. I'd be scared to death. Mm -hmm. My heart would, I mean, if, if that was my little girl, yeah. if, if just the thought that it's, you know, that horse going. Yeah. But I, I watch these people ride the speed racker. Ain't no way I'd ever yeah. get on one of them. race up and down the highway trying to race cars mm -hmm. on spotted horse. But I was young. Young, yeah. Dumb. <laughs> Come on, Mike. Could be either one of them. 
And you know the thing of it is, it's a, it's not a dime worth of difference in between either one of them that's nope. out there. It really it. I mean, these are some good horses. Yeah. I mean, it's a good horse. <clears> Those <throat> we're just now watching now, they they were all consistent. Yeah. That's a show right there. Oh, yeah. That really is. I can hear people now saying, well, I like that one the best. Mm -hmm. I like this one the best. Oh, Kenny getting her exercise on the backside there. Right? Oh, yeah. That's why she's small. This small, because she runs. <laughs> For the most part, every one of them kids had a good seat. Oh, yeah, they did. You know, that's a big pet peeve of mine on Bye. showing. And, you know, you take the trainers out of the equation, but now the amateur riders should ride yep. sitting up and looking between their horses and the red. And we and, and don't. Don't nobody take offense, because I know that uh, I used to want to copy Yogi Bear. <laughs> Stuff like that. So these kids, they uh, our youth will try to copy their trying adults. Yeah. That right there is a sight to see, buddy yeah. and I. Thoroughly enjoy that class. That's a good, that was a good class, real good class. I hate y'all went there to get to see it. You just saw it. Yeah, I'm glad I got What more could you want? Instant replay. Yeah, <laughs> I'm talking in person. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a good class. Yeah, Al. they they was. They was flat getting it done, and that's all that mattered. We had a lot of youth out there. Oh, yeah. I tell you what, love, doctor. <laughs> uh, do your thing, and we'll come back and, and watch uh, some BPs from last year's Tunica show. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. 
Two-time world champion and world grand champion Joe Hall is now standing at stud during the 2023 breeding season at Precious Memory Farm for $750. Contact Daniel Miller, 931-703-5830 or Shane Porterfield, 615-809-4257. Joe Hall is now standing at stud at Precious Memory Farm. All righty, we, uh, we're going to go to Tunica now and see some victory passes from last year. They had a great show last year, and I'm looking for them to have a good one this year, too. Yeah. Out there, Slim and Hot and Robert Dorch. Robert, we ain't seen much of him lately. That's a good horse. Oh, yeah, it's a good horse. He's been doing good. He was two-year-old. I wonder if he'll be down there this year. Jose, it ain't so, and Jake Jacobs. Jake will be there. I done talked to him. He said they were going. Last show of the year. It ain't so put on the show. That's a nice horse. That's a nice horse. Real nice horse. Like I say all the time, that's the only horse that beat I am Jose. That's right. That's a fact. El Hombre in black and Jake Jacobs. Amateur four-year-old stallion winner. Uptight Jose and Bruce McDonald. I guess you probably see him there. I would think Bruce would be there. Yeah. Just don't know what he'll be showing. He just showed <coughs> Uptight Jose this week. But now he's got a good four-year-old amateur horse that he shows. A real good one. I know Baron Witherspoon will be there. This is his first time ever showing to him be this year. Is that right? And I seen him yesterday. I'm yeah. glad he's coming. I like Baron. Yeah. About there, Cole Hahn and Allie Jo Jacobs. She probably wants to get in some showtime yeah. at the end of the year. Better watch her. She's probably be on that Blue Raider field over there if they don't watch her. <laughs> she, she likes that basketball. Yeah. She's an active little girl. Oh, yeah. Now, she, she is. is. She is that. She gets involved with a lot of different things. I'm Coach Cal. I'm Coach Cal. Now, let Joe Jacobs. image. Tanner Burks for Shane Porter here. That's a good one. Yeah. First night out, Ale Joe Jacobs. She didn't show that many times this year in the Country Pleasure class. But she showed it all in Mother, but yeah. 
Honor and remember in Van Waddell. For Kim Lewis, Jay Watts. I like it. Oh, that's nice. I really do. I've seen him in a steak play. I would say so. That's one thing I said. Dan shows his horses now. He doesn't leave them in the stall. Air Show Pleasure Amateur Champion, Epic, Megan Hammond. We will not be seeing that horse. what we're gonna see a lot of good ones down there I would I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't see some come in from North Carolina yeah I really I would. wouldn't be surprised either but I want to remind everybody the United Fall show starts tomorrow night Thursday night through Saturday you can call just meant my tell you call decan tail 706-366-1011 or Sarah Smith, 931-580-5085. Get your room down at the, uh, I believe Go Strike's the, the uh, host, but I'm a, I'm a Sam's Town man. <laughs> I like Sam's Town. They, they just, uh, it's closer to the showgrounds, and I always just enjoy it. Yeah. Th those people there are just, I mean, they're, they're really amazing. They're just uh, polite. Watch after what you do, and, and they love the horse Real people. nice place, real good place. Well, they, they like the horse people, too. Yeah. Because they, they sit there and ask you all kinds of questions about them horses. They enjoy it. But we will see everybody next week with the uh, report on the final show of the year. And then I think we've got six more shows after that for what a horse. Yeah. But we will see everybody next week. Love, doctor. Tell everybody bye now. Yeah, I'll be safe. You, tell, you better tell <laughs> Kenny. You, you better be Kenny. talking to Kenny. <laughs>